Now Abraham moved on from there into the region of Negev and lived between Kadesh and Shur. For a while he stayed in Gerar, and there Abraham said of his wife Sarah, She is my sister. Then Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent for Sarah and took her. Sarah's beauty catches the attention of many, including pharaohs and kings. And this, the word tells us, makes her husband Abraham afraid and causes him to do something that all would deem wrong and most would consider downright repulsive. He gives her away to other men. He doesn't do this once, but twice. The Bible doesn't explain how this makes Sarah feel, but maybe it doesn't need to. Once a beautiful, brave, and confident little girl, now she is being treated as an object for trade, or even worse, consumption. She probably feels powerless and lost. When she was little, she was so sure of everything, and now she is sure of nothing. How can she ever trust again? How can Abraham ever be forgiven? Abraham is her husband. She trusted him. She still does. But God punished Pharaoh the first time Abraham did this. Sarah is not sure what Abraham is thinking this time around. Surely God has redeemed and will redeem. But Sarah isn't positive she's the one who needs redemption this time. Oh.